Hello, Internet, and welcome to my plan B, aka my living room, and also to <laughs> Elegant Suffering, a good society tale. So sorry for the delay. You know, technology sucks sometimes, but it's okay. Uh, you, you get a taste of what my early childhood kids do on Sunday mornings. Me sitting on my floor in my living room. Hey! Uh, welcome, though. Uh, we're real excited to uh, get this shindig going. Well, multiple shindigs. Who knows? Well, we'll, we'll see what you all end up getting up to on our next novel chapter. Uh, but first off, we'll do some channel announcements. Um, next games coming up this week. Uh, we have on Saturday, Saturday night's Thunderball. Uh, that's going to be at three o'clock Eastern. Uh, getting down to it tournaments yay excitement shenanigans sports ball yay and and D, &D. so hey awesome um on sunday uh slan 101 we're back uh and we're officially weekly right that's exciting yay uh that's four o'clock eastern uh what are our monster of the week game um vampires and group drama and vampires. So yeah, it's it's gonna be great. Uh, Tuesday, uh, we've got Aeos uh, coming down the pike, uh, seven o'clock Eastern. Uh, come check all these lovely faces out for that. And uh, next Thursday, we'll have All Myths Are True, uh, Loop, uh, Kids on Bikes, check it out. Uh, uh, you defeated the evil birds. What are we on now? Uh, everyone, is sleep deprived and thinks their dreams are being stolen. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so come check that out as a well. Uh, why don't we go down the line and uh, say hello, tell everyone what you're doing, where to find you, and uh, who you're playing tonight. Uh, who was first? I'm sorry. Uh, Sean is first. Sean, do it. Uh, I'm Sean the Kraken King on Twitter and pretty much everywhere else. Uh, you can find me here most of the time. Uh, I run Thunderball and play and everything else. Um, and then uh, tonight I am going to be playing Raleigh Addison, uh, the douchebag. Uh, no, the uh, <laughs> technical term, the, the hedonist. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Up next, I believe, is Savvy. It's me. Yes. Hey, hey. Hello, I'm Savvy at Savvy Seaworth on uh, Twitter and everywhere else. You can find me here, either playing in or running every game that Sid just said. Uh, <laughs> I'll be running Slang 101 on Sunday. And then uh, I forgot the name of my own show. I almost said Tales from the Loop. All myths are true uh, on all Thursdays from this. Uh, and usually for the next few weeks, um, unfortunately not tomorrow because our shows are canceled this week, but for the next three or four Fridays in a row, you can find me also over on twitch.tv slash encounter roleplay, uh, where I'm running a, uh, a masks, a little masks mini campaign called the heroes next door and, uh, Sean plays in it and some other friends too. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have cats as well. This is this is this is my nightmare, y'all. This is my wake up naked at school nightmare. Uh, RJ, <laughs> hey everybody, I'm um, RJ here on the channel. But you can catch me, RJ Two Eight Two, on Twitter and Twitch, where sometimes I tweet about things and also stream Skyrim together, where things get really janky and I have to fight phantom saber cats. Uh, you can catch me on the Indoor Adventures channel on Mondays and Sundays. Mondays is our homebrew campaign. Sundays is our noir gunpowder fantasy version of the Tomb of Annihilation. And you can also catch me over at ooh, the Hype Goblins channel for the foreseeable future where I play an angsty boy from a different dimension. And here, I guess, I'm playing Theo <laughs> the Dependent. I forgot to say who I was playing. <laughs> I'm playing the most honorable Countess Rosamund Spice, the yes, heir, the heiress. The air with the hair. Aw, yeah. You look gorgeous. And last but not least, Alex. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm Alex. OMG, it's some guy on Twitter and places. I play in most of the shows here on GGK. 
Uh, and tonight I am playing Grover Shelton, the careerist. Excellent. All right. Uh, and while my cats kill each other, and before we get uh, started this evening, uh, just kind of want to address everything that's going on out there in the world uh, that is finally, I guess, coming to the forefront for most of the world, uh, even though it's been there for hundreds of years. Uh, it, it basically, unequivocally, Black Lives Matter, and this is very important, and we need to get it out there into the world, and uh, we all need to do something, our part, donate money to amazing causes, doing wonderful things, get out there if you can safely, and, and protest and make your voices heard, and uh, well, fucking get white supremacy out of our government systems once and for all. So uh, yeah, hashtag fuck white supremacy and um, just just needed to get it out there. I, I, I don't have a huge platform, but any platform that I'm on, I just wanna make sure I say that and make that known. So that's it. Um, all right, so let's play some good society. <laughs> if my cats allow it. All right, um, here. How we go. Um, our next novel chapter, as we discussed, um, again, we are playing Good Society. Good Society is a narrative driven game. Uh, check it out. It's made by uh, Story Brewers Role Playing. Uh, some great systems. Uh, so we are writing this together as we go. Uh, for our novel chapters, we generally have uh, either a big event chapter, which we had a lovely garden party last week uh, by the Countess. Uh, all of our players were introduced, shenanigans were had, um, underlying family rivalries were uh, unveiled, uh, some uh, social and career climbing was, uh, was, was seen, and uh, some party invitations were handed out. Uh, but today, uh, why don't we uh, jump into some of those visitations. Uh, visitation can literally be uh, your main character visiting either another main character or uh, one of the um, side characters that we are running uh, or a, um, a connection that you are in charge of could also go and visit anyone else. So um, does anyone want to get started with a visitation? Don't be shy. You know you want to go visit some people. Yes, I'll bite the bullet here. Yes! Uh, I believe Theo would have written a letter to his aunt saying that he will be over in the next few days or so. He still has things to do around the church for the reverend, but then immediately afterwards he will get into his Sunday best and make his way to the, uh, oh, what is it? The Addison Estate? I believe it's called, what did we call it? Uh, it is, I have also forgotten. It's written Looking somewhere. Through my notes. Oh, Battenmore. Battenmore. There we go, Battenmore. Batten Uh, what, uh, what, what would Theo see, uh, stepping his way toward the, uh, Batmore estate? Oh, man. Um, <clears throat> I think I did some sort of half ass description in the first one, uh, in the our last session. I think it's in, I don't have enough reference for this time period. Uh, like, grand, like, columns at the front, I think it has sort of, like, a almost like a greco-roman sort of appearance or like build to it um has like uh is is very kind of like imposing from the front and then has these like large hedges that uh branch off to either side and obfuscate most of the uh the grounds of the estate itself from the uh from the front yard and then there's some like gardens and uh you know probably mostly like reds and uh like I don't know if it'd be roses or some other sort of red flower um, out in the like the front 
uh, red being drive. the color scheme, though. Mm -hmm. Red being the color scheme. Do you have a hedge maze? There may be a hedge maze in yes. the in the yes. back. Excellent. Is it as nice as my hedge maze? <laughs> uh, there's probably more surprises inside. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Was that, that a threat? No. Um, <laughs> is it a challenge, sir? Is it a shotgun <laughs> trap around that corner? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Wait a minute. How did good society just become saw? What just happened? Like, <laughs> I won't allow this. I don't want to go to the party rally. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Um, Theo, you. Well, Theo, would this be the. Um, would this be the first time that you have uh, set foot upon the Addison Estate? I wouldn't think it's the first time. He rarely goes there, though. Only whenever he's called by, like, his Aunt Millie. Understood. Well, you approach, you are uh, greeted by the livery, and uh, brought in uh, to the sitting room. Uh, Raleigh, where would, where, where, where would you be? Would you have gone out for the day? Probably. Um, especially if I knew that, yeah, I mean, Raleigh's out, I think most of the time anyway. Uh, if he knew Theo was coming, I'm trying to decide if that would make him want to stay or make him want to go. <laughs> Could we say it's early enough in the day while, while, while Raleigh is like still in his room sleeping? <laughs> still asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's absolutely fair. He doesn't get fair. up before, before one. Perfect. So Raleigh is still snoozing. Uh, however... Uh, your arrival is, uh, is the, the news of your arrival is taken to your Aunt Mildred. Uh, and uh, Sammy, what's, uh, what's Mrs. Addison doing? Uh, hmm. I think if she, she's like this real stuffy lady, huh? I think if she like knows that he is coming over today, then she has just spent like most of the morning like bossing everybody around, making sure everything is in order. And then we'll be tea prepared. But then I think she makes him wait a few minutes <laughs> before she comes in. Tea tea and uh and biscuits waiting, mm -hmm. but uh she makes you wait to make an entrance. Yo uh, is inspecting a like a candelabra on the wall and kind of jiggles it and it breaks off the <laughs> <clears throat> moves a curtain to the side, puts it there, puts it back, walks away from the spot. Uh, she I think comes I think you can probably hear her coming. I imagine she has a very stern walk. <laughs> so you probably hear her. Um, coming when she enters. Theo, darling. Hello, Miss Addison. Uh, thank you for inviting me over to your home. Well, wonderful to see someone in this house who remembers their manners. Please, sit. He, he uh, will sit where he's told to. <laughs> um... I believe you wanted to speak to me about some things. I did, my darling. Uh, well, there are many things I have to speak to my nephew about, if you will oblige me. One thing in particular, but first, tea. She's looking around for someone to pour the tea. Just... <laughs> Do you I'm... oblige her? Do you pour the tea, Theo? I will, I will pour the tea for her. <laughs> or else she'll call for someone. <clears throat> Wonderful, darling. Thank you. Ah, and first we say grace. I don't know any prayers. Does Theo know any prayers? He's been at the Priory for most of his life. He probably knows a bit of prayer something <laughs> short sweet simple bless us O lord and these thy gifts which are about to receive <laughs> from thy bounty through christ our lord amen it's the only one i know amen. so 
You've been um, out and about quite a bit, I hear. Well, I mean, it just the party a few days ago, but otherwise been keeping to the priory. Mm, at the estate of the Marquis. Yes. <clears throat> and how did you I, find it? It was, it was fun. Hmm. Entertaining. I, honestly, I don't actually know how to find it. It's, I don't, I don't go to parties often. Well, I imagine you find yourself very busy. At the church? Yes? Uh, yes, uh, I mean, there's always renovations to be had and gardening to be done. I... The reverend asked me to touch up the ceiling uh, mosaic, but I don't think I have the skill. Well, I imagine it's good practice, but it's good that you find yourself out and about every now and then. I, uh... I assume you received my letter, Theophilius. Yes, Mum. And? I just... I'm here for tea. And I'm so glad you've come, darling. I must be frank with you, nephew. Your cousin, my son, is the uh, the cause of many rumors around this family. We don't need to be adding more to them. Just eyeing the ground as he's listening. I haven't the foggiest idea what you mean. I've heard from friends of our family that you find yourself uh, well acquainted with our wonderful countess. Ah. Yes, well, she humored me in a small walk in her garden. But that was all. I do hope you are not overstepping your bounds. Heaven forbid. Do be careful. It is good to have friends in high places. But you must remember yours. As unfortunate as it may be. You must be careful. Yes, Mum. How do you find the tea? It's lovely. Um, I'm not. Well, I haven't had many tea parties in my time, but I do enjoy this blend. Lovely. Do you speak to your cousin much? I spoke to him at the party, yes. How do you find him? Debating on sparing the feelings. Or being truthful. Riley is unique. To Indeed. say the least. <clears throat> Monologue tokens. <clears throat> what? What? Where? <laughs> I forget how those work. <laughs> so anyone with a monologue token can spend it on someone who has not yet monologued? And Correct. that's everybody but you, Sean. Yeah, so all the rest of us still have to monologue at least once. I'm saving mine for a very specific instance. <laughs> I would like to spend a monologue token <laughs> to have, uh, to hear this. 
All right. I assume on Theo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no way he gives a shit what Aunt Millie thinks. <laughs> All right. So Sean, Sean will mark that off for the remainder yeah. of the cycle. And uh, well, RJ, what, what is, what is in Theo's mind right now? Yeah, being asked that question by his aunt. I know my aunt it means well trying to keep me in my place, but oh, Riley is such a dickbag. I have... We have our jibes every now and again, and... But he seems to take it a step further. All the time. I remember when we were younger, it was, what, the snake prank? Took some ivy, tossed it on me, and yelled, poisonous snake, and I had to run around for a while, made a right fool of me. But I was taught better. Blood is blood, and you have to, I wouldn't say honor it, or respect it deal with it that's the word well done and you don't have to do it again for the remainder of the cycle good job great <laughs> <laughs> well uh unique is a word many people use for my son all right How are you doing? Me? Wonderful, darling. Everything is in order around the estate. Just sort of live my life here now. It is wonderful. And now that it's springtime, I spend more time outside in the garden, avoiding Raleigh's hideous hedge maze I don't even want to hazard to ask him what he plans to do with that um I would not venture in there if I were you noted but yes we are fine as always. I do wish you would come visit more often. I'll try. Yeah. If not, we will see you at church. Yes, um, the Reverend sent his regards, as usual. A wonderful man. I... I do hope in all of the work he's having you do and you are neglecting your praying. No, I... I have been. It's part of the... It's part of the job, I guess. Wonderful. Don't you worry. We'll get all your business sorted out. Eventually. I do actually want to ask you, could I take some cookies back for the kids of course darling yeah uh, I'll have one of them fetch some and package them up for you one of the servants sort of runs off for a box of biscuits I haven't learned all their names I think that one's Chauncey don't like to, I finally get attached to them. <laughs> Guess they'll have um, some pleasant conversation afterwards when enough time has passed, Theo will excuse himself. Give his aunt a kiss on the cheek, God bless. Heads back to the uh, Priory. I will pray for you, darling. I'm going to need it. Chauncey handed you a box of biscuits in the meantime, so you make your way back. Do the cookies actually go to the children? Yeah. Oh, that's very sweet. 
can I spend a resolve token for something as yes. connected to this scene? Yeah. Uh, would would you be up to RJ me spending a resolve token to say that that prank uh, that Raleigh pulled left Theo with like a terrifying fear of snakes? Let's do it. Okay. All right. Token spent. Uh, RJ, go ahead and take a token for that, which you may spend at your leisure. I gotta know tokens, where that's so there's going. Nothing, uh, okay. nothing I can do for the rest of this game. <laughs> Wait, let, so, 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 yeah. I have to give you a token because no. I, so, uh, because Sean uh, did the asking, uh, mm -hmm. Sean would uh, remove a token from his uh, token stash, and you would receive one. So you get an additional token for agreeing with that. Okay. Uh, I was just saying, like prior, prior in my monologue, I had inserted the whole snake thing beforehand. So wouldn't I have given him a snake uh, resolve token? Um, not necessarily, since it was like for flavor. So that's hmm. that's fine. But Sean's sort of bringing this to the forefront, it seems. So hmm. <laughs> that would be for a resolve token. Okay. That's actually a very good example of that. If something's just for flavor, for fun, it's cool. Um, if it seems like it's going to be pretty uh, paramount to the actual plot line that we'll create together, then we need to use a resolve token. So. Oh, that hedge is going to be full of snakes now. Just, just like... <laughs> I was wondering what was going to be in there. But maybe we shall find out. Um, when, any, anything else uh, after that visitation? Are we good in that regard? Could we? Are we good to move on to the next scene? Any volunteers or? Should I have an idea do... for one, but I'm gonna let somebody else talk for a little bit. <laughs> okay. So I was making a note of the snakes. Uh, if we wanted to do something with other people, uh, Raleigh invited Grover at the party to come over to paint him and uh, <clears throat> Aurora. So. Uh, I guess like a serving a servant or something would have shown up uh, to Grover where Grover is staying too. I guess, are you staying at the uh, Spice um, estate? So, I guess that's something that I'm not 100% clear on. Uh, Savvy mm -hmm. and I talked that maybe that was the case, but also I think Grover's family is actually well off enough being new money that they do have their own estate. But yes, I think... Yeah. Grover accepts invitations to stay over if it's like, you know, spending long nights doing art for the Spice family. But, 100%. Uh, yeah. It's hanging out, like, as everyone is quite wealthy and literally has nothing better to do. That's how we got that rumor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Occasionally, like, parties of, you know, a handful of people, singular people, entire parties of people might stay over for an extended period at someone's estate. Uh, but Raleigh would have sent somebody over to like give the like time and day uh, like for the official invitation to like please arrive at the at Battenmore at, on Tuesday at... so is this the invitation to go and paint or for the shenanigans the shindig no, this later? is for this is for the painting okay uh, specifically cool. uh... excellent and also, Savvy brought up a brief point. Should we remind the audience what the current rumors and scandals going around town are? Is this not really the time I for that? I mean, we can, uh, given that that might come into play. Uh, that particular uh, rumor, which was agreed upon, is that uh, there is a spread rumor in town that uh, the Honorable uh, uh, Countess uh, Spice is uh, secretly engaged uh, to Mr. Shelton. Bum, bum. Yes, I have a feeling all our spread rumors could come into play here because there's another one that I'm working on my magnum opus and then the last one that is currently spread is that Raleigh and Aurora are more than friends. Uh -huh. This is very true. So, so uh, Mr. Shelton has received his invitation. And accepts, comes over probably carrying far too many art supplies for the task at hand. Uh, and I think right now you're probably ushered through the home because uh, Aurora and Raleigh, it's like, I guess like late afternoon-ish, like gold, 
just before the golden hour so you can get that good painting in i don't know if that mm. works for painting like it does for photography uh, <laughs> the, um, but he they are lounging on the veranda uh eating grapes and looking just disgusting but I, I, glamorous I, I... I'm imagining, actually, they, they probably went very Greco-Roman, so Aurora, mm -hmm. like, probably somehow fashioned something into, you know, the, the, the Greco-Roman almost toga. And yeah. She took one of your entire... drapes, didn't she? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think, and Raleigh's doing the same thing. He even has, like, got, like, a couple of sprigs and, like, put them around his head to, to look like the, like, Caesar uh, crown. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, like, going all for it. And definitely grapes, like a gigantic bunch of grapes, like an obscene yeah. amount of grapes to just, you know. There are, there's a couple days. of chaise lounges and they're just like laying on those. I hate them <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> they really are the worst. Uh, and as, Gro uh, as uh, Grover arrives, uh, Riley looks up, oh, you're here. Come, come in. Yes. I had almost forgotten. Mr. Shelton, thank you so much for joining us. Fruit? Uh, I will uh, have a few, if that's all right. Uh, hello, Miss Keaton. Hello, Mr. She Addison. She will reach up, like, grab the big bunch and attempt to feed him. <laughs> I think he will you know, pluck one himself. He's not quite going to just eat straight off the grape. <laughs> um, but, uh... Oh, uh it's quite kind of you. Uh, We're indulging ourselves in a bit of a theme here today. If you'd like to make yourself more comfortable, we have some more drapery uh, in the front room that I'm sure would fit you nicely. Uh, that's all right. Um, I would I would hate to get any of the paint on it. I do tend to get a bit messy when I get into my work. <laughs> Ooh. What do you know? So do we. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Well, um... Would you like uh, some wine or something else? To, I don't know how these things typically begin. Uh, it's been a while since I've been painted. So give me just a minute here. You have taken the liberty of already arranging yourselves in quite the uh, framing. So, and he'll spend the next minute or two just, uh, you know, walking around the two of you, trying to figure out which angle would be best. If there are any more questions, he kind of responds and just, non-committal monosyllabic grunts until he figures out what angle to best do the painting from. Uh, and you know, he would have dumped all his supplies in the corner, but once he finds the angle, which I think is is probably going to be sort of the, you know, the traditional front on. I imagine like the table with the grapes is in the middle and they're like shades lounging with their their heads towards each other uh, and mm -hmm. just sets up uh, front on from there and so it goes and fetches the easel and the canvas and all the all the supplies now uh, I don't know how other portraitures have done this for you before but uh, this is well you holding poses would be good I do actually have quite the memory so and he kind of looks around the canvas and is just like got it so feel free to you know Move around, be natural, be comfortable, but I may ask you to go back to a certain pose if I need to you know, touch up something. Portraiture without even needing to sit there. That's that's quite a service. Wonderful. I'd say you do have an eye. Uh, I heard that you're actually working on a larger project here in uh, while you're on town. Uh, do you have a similar knack for that sort of thing? Uh, it does aid in my work, certainly, that I can, you know, take an image in my mind and hold it until I manage to get it onto the canvas. But, uh, it is... I am indeed working on a project, you might say, here in Tonchum, but, uh, well... I believe I... the words magnum opus have been thrown around. Masterpiece, yes. Right. Yes, well... I won't deny it, but I won't confirm such rumors either. Mm. You're Find modest, that... Mr. Shelton. Yes, well, Please. I do. Just, just the tiniest of hints. The subject matter. 
But I can't do that. I do find that an inflated ego tends to get in the way of productive work. And gets well, back boo. to doing some of his painting. I've never found my ego to get in the way of anything. <laughs> Nor I. <laughs> well, if we do not have the necessity of sitting here, uh, Aurora will sort of, you know, stand up, grab more grapes and then sort of slink behind and try to catch a peek of what's actually being painted. And you would see that it's, you know, like I said, the, the groups in the middle, it's Shay's lounges, them, and, you know, it's been too soon, it's probably still sketches. I don't know enough about how paintings actually start, but, uh, you know, got the, the rough shape of the chaises, them on it. You know, there's already enough of a decent framing, but, you know, no, there probably hasn't been any paint actually applied yet. But, uh, from the from the proportions and stuff, it's very accurate, despite Aurora no longer being in that spot. Uh, uh, I think right now Raleigh is, is just watching and, and grinning as he's still lounging uh, on the chair and uh, pouring himself probably his third uh, cup of wine since Grover's been there. Um, and he says... So, how do you find things at the Marquis Estate? I hear you're staying there quite frequently. Well, I do very much appreciate the patronage of the Honorable Countess, and there are indeed times where some of the projects she has commissioned do keep me there into the small hours of the morning, and so it is... We decided rather early on in our partnership to provide me with some lodgings there should the need arise rather than you know making the, the journey to and from my own family's holdings how very hmm. generous of them very well, and they certainly have enough room for it I I have uh, spent a few evenings at the Marquis Manor and I can say that there are many um, oh could you phrase it? Uh, convenient and cozy little alcoves to find, spend the hours of the, the day. Um, how do you find the Countess herself? Well, she is quite the generous patron. Uh, quite understanding of my Alex is blanking on the word here, uh, of my mannerisms, uh, and always, always willing to aid in the pursuit of art, which is a very noble position to have. Quite noble. More grapes. The, and I think at this sort of point- sneaks he, up behind him. <laughs> I think at this one, because he's, his hands are too busy, we'll just kind of- like not even <laughs> really thinking about it, just turns and snags some grapes. Aurora looks over to Raleigh and just kind of gives him a little wink. Um, <clears throat> Raleigh would just continue on that line of thought and say, yes, I hear that she does have a deep affection for the arts, uh, is the word around town. Do you find that to be so? Well, certainly enough that she has gone out of her way to take an artist such as myself into her uh, patronage, but, uh, and well, you know, I certainly don't see too much of that happening among the, the rest of the, the Regency here, though uh, one of my, shall we say, colleagues has expressed interest in coming to Tonchum as well. Uh, I don't know if you've yet heard from a Mr. Cockburn. He had written me to inquire about uh, perhaps your family. He had heard rumors that you might be hiring an artist. The name does ring a bell, Cockburn. Hmm. I'll have to check. I'm not sure if we've received a correspondence uh, from... He said he's interested in coming in looking for patronage from... My family. Yes, uh, he... Uh, I'm trying to remember what the letter said last time, but uh, he... I do believe that 
you and him would get along swimmingly. Hmm. Do you have a, uh, what are your opinions on this man's skills in comparison to your own? Oh, vastly inferior, but there's only one of me and I can only produce so much art at once. <laughs> I thought you were a humble man, Mr. Shelton, but uh, oh, I rather like this side. Tell me, um, how many uh, patronages uh, do you uh, take part in exactly? Is it uh, just the Countess? Yes, at the moment. Uh, you know, it is... Uh, I have yet to truly establish a name for myself, though I appear to have made quite the splash and tantrum, if the... Right. Uh, so, perhaps, before too long I will have many patrons, but at the moment it is just the Honorable Countess. Many patrons? sort of looks over to Raleigh. My good oh. sir, you'll get along just fine around here from that. <laughs> uh, in fact, how, with with arrangements like this and, and doing paintings of, you know, smaller groups of, of subjects, individuals or couples, do you find yourself looking to do more uh, involved projects in uh, with with groups, you know, in, in, in a sort of in the moment. I don't know exactly how to describe it. Like with parties and things like that. Well, if you recall, I took a, you know, a memory, uh, as you might say, of your group at the, the Marquis' party and I am have been working on that. Next time you stop by the Marquis' estate and I am there as well, I may show you the progress on such a painting, but uh, Excellent. Did you hear that, Mr. Addison? He's kept us in his thoughts. It's very kind, very sweet. I can't tell if I'm blushing from the wine or the thought of you painting us at the <laughs> early hours in the morning. <laughs> but I bring up the matter because the, uh, well, we're going to be having a gathering here later in the week. And if you're available, if your schedule isn't too busy with all the projects you have, uh, we'd love to have you for work or just uh, to get to know you better. I would be honored, though uh, I do hope the rest of your guests won't object to being the subject of some of my projects. Oh, the oh. rest of the guests don't really object to much. No, they're very open-minded. Well then, uh, I believe just as as for this, you know, let me know when the when the, the the time and the date to arrive, and I shall be there. Excellent. Oh, it seems that somebody has emptied my pitcher uh, as he looks at the wine that he's been drinking. He says, "I must go get more of this," and he stands up and begins to walk into the house. Uh, and as he does, the toga just falls off of him, and he just walks <laughs> naked straight into the house, not even flinching. Grover will take a second to look and Aurora might see him look with like a look of concentration on the nude form and then gets back to <laughs> to painting. You do have quite the eye, Mr. Shelt. It is what has allowed me to make such strides in my art. It, uh, I was warned that putting myself out there as an artist might not be becoming of a man in my position in society, but it just speaks to me. It, I see something and it must be transferred onto the canvas. Well, when one has a passionate soul, sometimes it uh, cannot uh, kind of be contained, right? Quite. And you, Miss Keating, what is it that you are passionate about? Oh, I'm passionate about, well, just about everything. You must be quite the passionate woman to be able to be passionate about so many things. Oh, yes. Quite. Grapes. So he just turns his head and bites <laughs> some more because he's reshifted focus back to the painting. 
Uh, Raleigh, anything else? I have nothing important to contribute to this scene. He just <laughs> yeah. comes back at some point and continues to drink. Uh, he put the drapes the back on. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> I think he, he picks them up and just sort of slings them over one shoulder and lays back down. I mean, it's covering most of it. Oh, and with that wonderful uh, visual uh, for everyone, including Mr. Shelton, uh, <laughs> we shall pan away to another uh, scene. Um, uh, Savvy, you said you had an idea for one? Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm really supposed to follow that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Something has to. <laughs> uh, well, I, I'm curious. I guess I have a question. Yeah. Um, about our wonderful friend, the Reverend Samuel Hammond, who we haven't seen yet. Um, mm -hmm. Is this a universe in which somebody could theoretically say they were gonna like go to church for confession or uh, something? I mean, we're not we're not in like thing. Catholicism or like all Protestant, but sure for for spiritual guidance. Yeah, or just why not? go to church. Oh yeah, go to church. I, I mean, think... we're all going to church. Well, I mean, we all know he's not the real reason I want to go to church. Of course. But, um, yeah, I thought it, it might be interesting to... Um... Well, as, like, the rectory and everything, like, they do help to support, you know, some young children that may or may not have the same support, which is kind of how Thea was raised up. A proper, honorable countess could definitely volunteer her time to, to help the needy. Yeah. Okay. What what do you bring along to the church in this endeavor? Uh, money. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I think on occasion, um, the countess shows up. Uh, shows up at the church, having had one of her seamstresses like make new clothes for the children. And she brings them herself. I love it. So as you as you arrive with with new things, new 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 clothing, uh, fresh breads and fruits, uh, just anything that you can big bring from like the barter to uh, assist today. Uh, I believe I am the Reverend. Am I not? Who is the Reverend? I think. It's Who is me. he? Who is this man? It's you. Who are it's you? Me. Wonderful. I'll drag Theo into this in a minute, don't worry. <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> uh, you, you you do see the Reverend Hammond. Uh, it, he's a fairly elderly man, um, uh, but still pretty spry. He has to get around a lot and still putter around the uh, the rectory and such. Uh, but he you know, comes forward to give you a bow. Your honor is wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for all the assistance that you are always so kind to bestow upon the church. Of course, Reverend Hammond. It's wonderful to see you. Well, it's lovely to see you as well, my dear. Well, uh, come on through, you can see. Uh, we are, um, we will be repairing the mosaic up there, of course, but uh, there are only so many hours that the Lord has granted us in the day, of course. I'm sure uh, it'll be lovely when finished. I, I, I hear you You have a rather uh, artistic sort uh, uh, been staying with you in your states. Uh, do you think they might uh, be interested in, in gracing us and, and the Lord with their uh, artistic endeavors uh, uh, here at the church? Oh, you mean Mr. Shelton? Yes, yes, that's the fellow's name, yes. Yes, um, I, I'm not familiar with whether he does mosaic work or anything like that, but I can certainly ask him. He's a wonderful painter. Oh, lovely, lovely, yes, and, and of course, uh, any 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 art granted by the Lord can can be bestowed in in, in many ways. So, so any a, anything he may choose would, would would be lovely, I'm sure. Of course, Reverend. How are the children? Oh well, getting along as as best we can. We we, we do appreciate the gifts, and oh, it looks like little Edmund uh, definitely needs the uh, the new trousers. So they're just growing like weeds. <laughs> I hope they all fit, um, and you know, as always, call on us if any uh, alterations need to be made. 
you are, as always, you are too kind, too kind. Reverend, might I ask you a question? Of course. <sighs> I find my days difficult lately. What do you, what do you mean? Well, I, I find myself coming into many responsibilities now. And, yeah, there are things I find myself interested in that don't quite align with them. Would these interests be against the Lord's good name and works? I don't believe so, no. Um, no nothing like that. Well, responsibility is a thing that is assigned to us all in some way or another and you being granted the the, the boons that you have sometimes that responsibility can, can can be heavy i i i know it does not compare but the responsibilities of this church and this parish can weigh heavily upon me at times but i must remember that with the ample happiness and joy that is granted to me those responsibilities I must carry as well do you find ample joy in your life countess if I may be so bold to ask there are things I find joy in yes hmm well I would task you then not to see the responsibility necessarily but to find those things within the light of the Lord that grant you further joy. And what if your responsibilities don't allow for it? I'm sorry? I mean, what if your responsibilities keep you from the thing that brings you joy? Hmm. Well, in that case, I would say, we must always find a balance. If our responsibilities are too much at times, well, perhaps we find something or someone that may help us carry the load. I, for instance, would be remiss if I uh, did not uh, have my Theo here. He has been quite a help over the years. Such a good man. Such a good young man. And I do hope that he will eventually take over and uh, allow me to take over some of my pursuits. Uh, is he here? Oh, yes. Somewhere. Um, I, I think he was uh, off near the, uh, the, the east side of the rectory. Uh, there's a uh, a bit of a fence, uh, the rabbits keep coming in and getting into the garden, <laughs> as you know. I, I was actually hoping I might speak with him. I know he, he works with the children, so I was hoping to, um, uh, to sort oh, of I, I, ask I, after I, him and see if there was anything he knew they needed that we could provide. Of, of course, I, I can fetch him if you'd like. The garden is rather dusty right now. Uh, uh, but you can just point me the way. I know you're busy. Of, of course, if you if you had the time, Your Honor, uh, just uh, past uh, the, the east side door there, uh, just keep going down uh, towards the road over there. It's the, the 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 wooden fence there. You can't miss it. Thank you very much for your time, Reverend. Yes, and do find that joy, Your Honor, if you can. Yeah. Your presence has brought me a bit. As always, you are too kind. Sneaky, sneaky. I run away. <laughs> and to perhaps our final scene of the situations, unless anyone has another one after that. Uh, Theo, I gave you the excuse that you were patching up a fence, but... Uh. Are you busy? <laughs> oh, as uh, Rosamond is walking up, Theo hears like a branch snap and he stands, he has like 
leather work gloves on, sleeves rolled up. Father, is that you? Um, have you seen the whetstone? The rose bushes need, and he turns, pruning. A lovely garden, Mr. Wilmot. <clears throat> Just quickly takes off the gloves, puts it in his back pocket, looks down, buttons his shirt up. Um, thank you, Your Honor. I try and keep it as orderly as possible. I, uh, I do apologize for surprising you while you're out working, um, but I, I came to bring some things for the children and thought you might say hello. Oh, um, it's a very nice surprise. Also, thank you for always looking out for the kids here. Of course. We've brought them some new clothes. Um, I've told the Reverend, but as he might forget, um, I've had one of my seamstresses make them, so if anything needs altering for them, they're getting a bit tall, some of them. Yes, um, I think the father said they're growing like weeds. <laughs> but, you know, at that age, just shoot up out of clothing. <clears throat> uh, it is an awkward time. Yes. Yes, it is. I, I remember when it happened to you. <laughs> I think you were taller than me for a long time. <laughs> oh, how I miss it. Mm. Uh, I would offer you tea, but I'm a bit of a mess of sorts. It's not necessary. Um, your cousin... Mr. Addison has yes. uh, very kindly invited me to one of his parties later this week. Eyes narrow just slightly. Right. Uh, the nature of the party being... Oh, I wish I knew. Mm. Well... If it has anything to do with the hedge maze, I have been warned by his mother to stay out. Oh dear. I mention it, um, because I had wondered if you would also be in attendance. I don't think I've received any missives or invitations. Hmm. I believe he's so kindly forgotten about me again. He seems to do that. Well... If you do not receive an invitation but wish to attend, I imagine he would oblige me a guest. Thought you'd be taking your fiance, Mr. Grover Shelton. Oh dear. Even in our little church, we get rumors. We'll have to step on that one. <laughs> He is lovely, truly, and a talented painter, but, um, a bit eccentric for my taste. I'd like to speak to him at some point, if you could arrange that. Of course, whatever for. Oh, you know, Father probably told you we need work done in church, and I also wanted to inquire about prices for a piece. A painting? Yes. A painting. Of what? That'd be a surprise. You know I could just order you to tell me. You could order me to tell you. Would you? you? Won't. I really should be going. Um, if you give me a few minutes, I can walk you back, unless you have a retinue with you. I do not, actually, today. I've escaped. <laughs> but you've only got a few minutes. Father will come looking for me. I'll be quick then. 
we can also take the long way around. I like that. Hurries off to his room. So, Theo and the Countess. <laughs> Get yourself together. <laughs> uh, make the uh, <clears throat> the long walk the long way back, as it were. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, so we'll... Uh, I, I, I like the picture of we, we see them further in the distance, uh, far away enough down the road that they can just sort of put a hand out and hold a hand. Yeah. I like it. Are there any other scenes for visitation or... All right. Well, the then. only thing I can think of <laughs> is uh, I'm trying to remember. Did I think Raleigh did invite Theo? He at did. The party. He did at the garden party. Okay. I, oh, okay. He either if he hadn't, he would send an invitation to Theo. Okay. He, he wants him there. He just gets back. There's a letter. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it would have just arrived. Is Vernice making an appearance at the party? At all. Uh, she was she not. She said to this. she said she wanted to spend more time with me. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. That'll be a thirty second scene. Yeah, I was gonna say there's not even really a scene <laughs> there, probably because she I probably doesn't talk enough to make it a scene. She probably goes to, yeah, a uh, visit, and you guys go for a walk by the river or something, very quietly. I think um, the if she suggests a walk, the countess will suggest going for like a ride, like a horseback ride or something, and then they uh -huh. don't have to talk that much. <laughs> they don't have to talk at all. That's a good one. Yeah, they go for a ride. I just see a montage of like horseback riding or walking with large groups of friends where the the, the countess has to act as hostess and so doesn't talk to Bernice yeah. the entire time. I just run the back of a horse. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it's a lot of just comments about the weather. Who doesn't like citrus? It's probably oh. my best character choice. That was a I, I, I okay. love it. I just had to ask. It was like citrus. And on <laughs> that note, <laughs> I, I think we can go ahead and say that that novel chapter is a complete. Uh, it is time for another round of reputation. So if you would like to go ahead and pull up your family backgrounds. Oh. <laughs> Are you already giggling? Because <laughs> I'm just sure this is going to go well. Oh no. <laughs> Double checking. All right, we can, we can go ahead and sort of go down the line here. All right, uh, for Raleigh, mm -hmm. being old money. Uh, I definitely did not do any of the positive things. <laughs> uh, probably not. Um, I probably did a couple of the negative things. <laughs> Acted in contravention of society's conventions. Dropping non walking naked through I his think, house yes would <laughs> yeah. qualify shame and shamed uh acted in desire in a way that compromise acted on a desire in a way that compromised your duty or morality i don't know if he necessarily acted on a he got drunk uh compromise might be a strong word there wasn't like anyone there yeah, well, except for grover and then shamed, Shelton, but <laughs> shamed or embarrassed the family name i mean probably hashtag dropped trow so yeah I'd, I'd, I'd say that i say a negative tag would yeah. definitely be uh warranted there it doesn't matter how if i do one of the negative things it doesn't matter how many negative things i've done i still only get one tag. correct yes okay, cool. so just if if one of those qualifiers and either a positive or negative uh okay. if you did 
one of both, it would kind of be which one you felt you sort of leaned toward in that particular okay. novel chapter, and then you can kind of pick. And then I just pick one of the tags, or you assign it to me? Um, so given the situation uh, that occurred, uh, nakedness, um, <laughs> uh, what, what sort of qualifier do we think would make sense for getting naked and drunk I mean, in front of a guest <laughs> either self-obsessed or tasteless i think were the two I, tasteless that, there we go i think tasteless would work yeah tasteless i think was the, <laughs> the overriding uh theme there okay. I, that's really uh, a matter of taste i think <laughs> oh yeah i already have self-obsessed so i don't know. oh perfect yeah. <laughs> we are, i'm already self-obsessed so we'll go with that one i love it awesome so, and again, so with the second one, no, uh, no reputation conditions yet, but we're, we're on our way. Awesome. All right. And next would be the Countess uh, with the Peerage. Yes. What do we think? Well, I technically did a very nice, good, dutiful thing. You did. Act in the service of duty of morality. Why I did it. <laughs> I mean, I think some of the some of the good motivations are there. It's just not not gonna pass off an opportunity to go down to the church, but absolutely. Acted in acted in obedience of society's conventions. Absolutely. I, 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 I think a positive tag could be warranted there. There was nothing necessarily, again, very overt in her actions in that regard. I'm so, sneaky. Because she's sneaky. So yeah, we could also, go with Also, that. nothing could have seemed overt after that second. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why I wanted you to go first. She could have Frenched him in the middle of the church. And I, can, still would have been... I can get away with a lot in my scenes when your scenes are right before my scenes. <laughs> yes, we just 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 sandwich everything in a Raleigh scene, and you're fine. A no. Raleigh yeah. sandwich. <laughs> a uh, oh, no. so How Can many go... times has that been said? Anyway, um... <laughs> what do you think the next novel chapter is going to be? Raleigh oh, sandwich. Boy. It's a bodega um... of Raleigh. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so yes, I think you could snag a positive tag. Um, uh, giving is one of the options. Yeah, um, so I think, I think something giving like that. or um, charitable. That's a more fun way of saying it. So... How many do I have to have to get a special thing? Oh, so did you receive a, uh, a I have, third? I have three. You have three! Yay! Okay, so we get to play with a reputation condition now. Um, so with your third, either positive or negative, you would gain a condition. So for that, you will go to your character role sheet. Okay. And there are two options for uh, a positive uh, reputation uh, condition there. <laughs> okay. One of them uh, would be very helpful to me, and one of them would be hilarious given the certain <laughs> circumstances. Uh, so that my options are Golden Child, uh, which are your parents, aunts, and uncles believe you can do no wrong, mm -hmm. which would be great because I'm trying to get away with some shit. Um, mm -hmm. The other one is a tremendous catch. You've proven yourself a tremendous catch. Every appropriate connection would wish to be your suitor. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> that one doesn't help me at all, but it's so funny. Please. It's true. I'm going to do a tremendous catch. I can't all not right. do that. That's too good. <laughs> Every. Everyone's like. Count a spice. Yeah. Oh, when so, I show up at the party, I just show up looking super hot, and everybody's like, "Oh shit." I think, in fact, that is the perfect way that we could do that. So we can we can kind of lump that okay. into the beginning of our uh, our next novel chapter. But yes, that will come into play for you. So does this um, go on the sheet? Oh, 
condition. I found yes, it. Yes, you would just, yeah, go ahead and tap one of those that you have one. Okay. Um, so with those as well, uh, now that you have three positive uh, reputation tags, mm -hmm. uh, you could basically, you would consider all of those tags as having a resolve token attached to them. So if at any point you wanted to use one of those descriptors as uh, an additional scene or something that you could sort of spend that particular description to uh, change the game in some capacity, you okay. could do that and then you would erase that descriptor. Okay. And then you would like in the place of a token. Exactly. Got it. Awesome. Yeah. So excellent. No, one of mine is influential, so get ready. <laughs> hey. Oh, so one, quick, get fun. one maybe quick question about being a <laughs> tremendous catch. When they say connection, do they mean just the connections? Or would that also mean that like now Raleigh and Grover also are considering be, her to be a suitor? That would be connections in general, I uh, would say. And that's not necessarily even just connections that uh, are already created. This could be someone that, you know, maybe I'll create a brand new connection because I've got a couple to play uh, in my back pocket and maybe someone tremendous shows up. We'll see. Um, so it's only session two and all of you are in love with me now. <laughs> Savvy's like, I'm done. I'm good. Bye, guys. I, do I win? <laughs> <laughs> I win good society. Yay. Everyone's in love. With Everyone me. hit on me. <laughs> now. now it's in the game. It's a rule. <laughs> All right, I think RJ is up next. I don't think I did anything positive. Let's take a peek here at uh, what we're looking at. Yeah, acted in the service of duty or morality in a way that compromised your desire, acted in obedience to society's conventions despite considerable hardships in doing so, and sacrificed or denied your own desires to please someone of higher rank. I think, in fact, I might gain a negative tag. Ooh, how so? Well, Aunt Millie told me to stay in my lane. Mm hmm And I'm still like, no, I think I'm gonna take this walk with Rosemond back to her... her place. We'll even take the long way around, just in case. Now I feel like it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> So would you say that was acting on a desire in a way that compromised your duty or morality? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I, I, I could definitely see that if that's the way we're aiming. So uh, what sort of descriptor do you think that would entail? Well, I immediately looked over at the clergy background and I saw hypocritical. Oh, okay. Go ahead and put that in there for your negatives. Again, you that's just two, so no no conditions yet. Quite yet. Yet. And uh Mr. Shelton. So I can't remember if we did this same one last time, but I'm pretty sure that uh I mean one of the ones for new money is secured a personal invitation from someone of higher social status than yourself. Mm -hmm. That definitely happened. Mm -hmm. So I think that would also be my third positive tag. Excellent. All right. So uh, what's, uh, what sort of descriptor would you want to use for that one? Oh, gosh. So I think at this point you could definitely use popular. You've, yeah. you've got everyone asking about you. Yeah, I think popular yeah. would be appropriate. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then, so my positive conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, so you would go to your character role. Yes, as the careerist. Mm -hmm. So there is patronage. An important person takes an interest in furthering your career. And Which then could a. Be very interesting, given that you already have a patron. Or. Yes. Then there is a second pair of hands. Your junior arrives, create them as a connection. While this condition is active, they are ready to assist you in all appropriate matters. That could also be very fun. And so that would be that would be another uh, 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 connection that would uh, be uh, under there. I, I, I guess I would control them. It doesn't count toward, everyone does still have a spare connection that they can throw in at some point during the game. That wouldn't count toward that. That would be 
part of the, the condition. Mm -hmm. Both seem very interesting, but totally yeah. up to you. I'm wondering here, and maybe this would take a resolve token to make happen, but what if Raleigh is just so smitten with the idea of having a personal artist at his beck and call, and maybe even two, and like tries to also enlist Grover? And so Grover is then working, although I'm trying to figure out how that's a positive <laughs> for Grover, but uh, having, having uh, doing the patronage one and it being the Addisons as well, and then also if Erasmus Cockburn shows up in the mix, having two artists at his beck and call. How do you feel about that one, Sean? I'm down. Yeah? I like it. Okay. If yeah. you start spending too much time with Raleigh, maybe I'll hire Mr. Cockburn. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Drama, drama, drama. So, <laughs> should I go ahead and give Sean one of my resolve tokens? I'd say, yeah, go ahead, since yeah. that that's a, a little different than what it's calling for. So, yeah, as long as Sean's cool with it, go for it. Yeah. Sean takes one. And, yeah, you have, uh, you have someone very powerful yet again interested in, uh, in your career there. Excellent. All right. So we do begin another uh, epistolary. I think we'll get through the epistolary and then uh, maybe we could take a break before we get to our upkeep. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll go down the line. Um, uh, does uh, the Countess have a, a letter that she would like to write. Um, I'm trying to decide. <laughs> you get to. Between a couple. Uh... I really want to send a letter to Vernice and just be like real shitty. <laughs> okay. But How, like what would that sound like? In like in a because they'd uh, try as she might um try as Vernice might. I they don't spend that much time together. <laughs> and so I think maybe under under the guise of like you know, Miss Keating, obviously, you're a very busy woman, and you had expressed interest in wanting to keep in touch more. So I think she started, like, writing her letters, but I think she just writes her these letters about all the fun shit she's doing without her. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Bernice gets this letter that's like, oh, you know, like, you had said you wanted to keep in touch more, and you're, you're a very busy woman, and we cannot always meet face to face, so I thought that written correspondence might be uh, in our interest and also quite fun. And she just sends these updates about like going to the church and like the children and things that Vernice would be like, ah, oh, yes, she's very dutiful and doing a great job. And then also like, oh, and uh, Mr. Addison has a uh, very cordially invited me to uh, to a gathering at his estate and is just like talking about just being really excited about it and how much fun she's gonna have and it's real it's a little petty I love whether <laughs> Bernice realizes it's petty I don't know but it makes her feel better oh we'll get to that when she sends her reply here in a minute yes yes a dot ham. <laughs> uh, Sean, does uh, do any of your connections or Raleigh have a letter to send? Oh yeah, Bernice is going to send a reply to. Uh, <laughs> oh, of course she is. <laughs> and it's just she's uh, been waiting like with bated breath to get this letter back. <laughs> <laughs> your honor, no, that was too. So your honor, honor. 
on a, I, I your can't honor. Say honor and, <laughs> your I can't honor. say that. I can't say that phrase without drifting into my like. Louisiana. I object. <laughs> I object. <laughs> your honor. <clears throat> I am pleased to have received your letter. It warms my heart to know that you are thriving in this small, sleepy town. <clears throat> the time that we have spent together <laughs> has been the highlight of what have otherwise been I'm trying to think of a good descriptor. <clears throat> Pleasant afternoons. I do hope you enjoy yourself at Batten Moor this coming week. From what I've heard, the parties seem entertaining. I have not been to such an occasion, but... And though many seem hesitant to share details of these events, I hear they're something to speak of. I hope we get to go on another ride soon. Yours, Vernice Keating. <laughs> I can't wait to keep actively not inviting her to stuff. <laughs> This is my favorite new game, is telling Vernice I'm going to a party and not taking her with me. <laughs> not inviting her. Oh, am I petty enough to use my second letter to respond? <laughs> Perfection. Hey, you, you, have, you have a few moments to decide uh, because uh, we will move on to uh, RJ. One of the letters being sent is to Riley. It is an Thank you for the invitation. Um, I'll be there with a question mark that's like smudged slightly. <laughs> and the second letter is to to Mr. Grover Shelton. One one at a time. One at oh, a time. Because God. other people's letters may affect what oh, you right, would like to send. Letter. So yes. Yeah, so your first one, first one there. Anything else in that letter? Nope. It's a. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Dear cousin, I'll be there. Question mark. Thank you for the invitation. Something, something. This is a formality, I guess. He doesn't write that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And Alex. Would Mr. Shelton or any connections have a letter? Trying to decide. Um, and you, you do get two, you're two in a row, so you'd get to do both yeah. in a row. <laughs> that may be an issue. I'm having trouble coming up with even one. Um, <laughs> part of me wants to do a letter from him to Rose about like the com combining the rumor about them together and her new reputation tag. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm warning you now this is probably going to get into awkward weirdness but uh, do it that's my favorite thing <laughs> uh, it's probably something along the lines of and uh, also this is probably a letter because they haven't been able to sync up their schedules lately for whatever reason but uh, dearest honorable countess Rosamond Spice uh, I have had a rather interesting time beginning a painting of Mr. Addison and the other Miss Keating. Uh, at that time, they spoke to me about the nature of our relationship. They seemed to think there was much more going on than there seems to be at the moment. Though I do find myself idly wondering 
what ifs and maybes, but uh, that is neither here nor there. Uh, they have, well, Raleigh rather, has taken a rather keen interest in my work as an artist. Uh, as I'm sure you are aware, the man's ego knows no bounds and he wishes to see as much of it captured onto the canvas as possible. And while I certainly prefer your patronage, I cannot deny that Mr. Addison's coin spends rather well. So, well, I will always be at your beck and call. I may be slightly less available in the near future. Okay. Oh, shoot. I have letters, too. I have letters. I have letters. Okay, I'll, I'll letters. do one, and then you do one. <laughs> Gonna have to put uh, that one just right in the fire. <laughs> Don't let anyone find that. <laughs> uh, Ms. Keating will be sending a letter to Mr. Shelton. Mr. Shelton, thank you so much again for your brilliant artistic work and conversation. Would you be able to find in... Uh, a a any of your time, uh, the opportunity to paint a rather intimate portrait for me, uh, just myself for a, a gift that I would like to send uh, sometime around Michaelmas this year. Please let me know a time that would be most convenient for you. Regards, Miss Keating. Alex, you wrote, and then I'll do mine last, so we'll go back through. Oh, I'm trying to figure out if Grover catches on to the subtext. <laughs> I think he at least knows enough to know what an intimate portrait means, but uh, probably doesn't know who the recipient would be, so uh, yeah, I think the... Yeah, I think he does send a response back of just, you know, uh, certainly that uh, uh, it's, it is not often that uh, I have clients who are willing to pose in quite such a manner, and it is always an interesting and enjoyable time to paint subjects in their most natural state. Uh, I look forward to this session together. Though perhaps we need not have quite as many grapes as the last time. Brilliant. RJ? Uh, to Mr. Grover Shelton. Um, Grover's so popular. He's an artist. <laughs> I have heard for, uh, from... Uh, oh god, what was it? Her Honor, Miss Roseman Spice, that you were available for a bit of commission work. Uh, the church could use a touch-up in the mosaic that is on the ceiling uh, if you would kindly drop by sometime and we can receive a quote uh, at your earliest convenience um, also there is a bit of business I would like to speak to you about kindly the um okay okay Next up. That's I me, believe, right? I believe so, yes. All right. I wrote some notes down on this one so I could get to all the things I wanted to, but this is from Raleigh to, uh, uh, to Theo <clears throat> in response to his letter. <clears throat> Dearest cousin, your penmanship seems to have improved greatly. I'm honored to have you in attendance at the reverie. I believe you f should find the event illuminating. 
do be sure to present yourself well upon arrival. The Honorable Countess Spice will be in attendance, and I'm sure you would like to make an impression. I do hope your accommodations to the church are well. I have few memories from boyhood of attending service. However, I'm aware the musty odor seems to carry with one for some time upon leaving. Yours in sincerity, Raleigh. That gets crumpled and tossed into the fire. I just love this montage of letter, rip, fire, letter, rip, fire. Ah, uh, savvy. Mm -hmm. Is it to me? This is you. Uh, I went back and forth, but I think I'm going to write a letter to Theo. Okay. Um, something, something. Uh, dearest Mr. Wilmot, I hope this letter finds you well. Um, I write to thank you for, uh, both your attendance at our recent garden party and your uh, always wise counsel on matters of the heart. I'm trying to think of how to uh, phrase this. Um, the Countess pauses, re inks her quill. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Um, while speaking with Reverend Hammond is always enlightening, um, his visits to my estate become fewer as of late, and my sisters and I are always in need of religious counsel. So if you find yourself with a free morning, please visit. Hope the children are well. The Honorable Countess Rosen Spice. And crumpled and into the fire. <laughs> and into the fire. <laughs> I love it. I get. I can't know. Who's it gonna be? Ah. Okay. I will have the Marquis send a letter as he is one of my connections I will have him send a letter to an associate uh, a colonel in fact uh, uh, my, my dear colonel uh, as I, I appreciate your your letter of, of week last. Um, I must confess, I am thoroughly surprised to hear the uh, accounts of my lovely daughter Rosamond have reached you uh, that far into Newcastle. Of course, I should not be, as she is one of the most dutiful and lovely of daughters anyone could ask for. Uh, we would be honored to have your... Uh, you visit us in at the estate at uh, any time of your convenience, and perhaps we could uh, arrange a uh, an introduction. Um, sincerely yours, the Honorable Marquis, etc., etc. You know, just for a treat. <laughs> Dad, why? Dad. Because you're a tremendous catch, remember? <laughs> Why do I feel like both our positive tags are gonna bite us in the ass more than they're gonna help? <laughs> no, no, they're not biting you in the ass. Like, who knows? I don't know we'll what the see. colonel's into. What's a DM caveat? What? <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I say we'll go ahead and take a break because we have reached the nearly the end of our first cycle. Yay! And we get to do upkeep, which has a couple things involved. One, all of you must monologue now that haven't. And uh, we will come up with our inner conflicts, which will also be very important for the remainder of gameplay. So we'll take a quick break. Uh, stick around with us in a little bit. We'll get water and bio breaks and all that good stuff, but uh, we'll see everyone shortly.
welcome back. We're playing Good Society. We're in Tonsham. There are cats. It's 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 a grand time. We're about to go to a party. But first, we have made it all the way through our first cycle. Congratulations, friends. We we have never done this before, so we're excited to make it through. Partially unscathed. Uh, so we will walk through the upkeep phase. Uh, in upkeep to start, we'll we'll pull the band-aid off. Um, anyone that has not yet monologued does need to monologue, which I believe is at least two of you. Um, so let's let's just let's rip that band-aid off and get it out of the way. Who wants to go first? Can I get a little bit of context for monologue? Absolutely. So with monologue, we would say that this would be probably sometime shortly after that epistolary phase of you writing your letters. Uh, sort of sitting in contemplation there of the two previous letters that you've written. I think I'm ready if you need a little bit of time. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Well, Mother did warn me that things would get messy if I began mixing it up with the old money. They are not, they do have their charms, certainly some more than others. Uh, the Countess has proven to be a wonderful patron and I hesitate to say friend given the difference in our stations. Uh, I can't say for sure how she feels about me. And uh, I do find that things are perhaps becoming a bit more confusing of late what the nature of our relationship is based on Mr. Addison's interest in me and my perhaps less than professional interest in the Countess, though that that certainly bears more thinking on. The Miss Keating is an interesting uh, development you'll have to see where that goes but uh yes aurora and raleigh together well they are certainly a potential gold mine of art i will have to keep in mind that i can't say for sure whether or not they would appreciate me applying my artistic vision to their buffoonery they may not pay so well were I to draw them as I see them, rather than how they wish to be seen. And this Mr. Wilmot, Theo, uh, I do wonder what his personal interest, well, personal business request is. I will see what I can do about the church, but I am not much of a muralist, though if it is painting, I can slap some paint on it and maybe they will think it's good enough. I have yet to see what state their church is truly in. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yay. Well done. Wonderful. And the Countess? Okay. Well, the Countess, I think, is just sitting there <laughs> with all of these letters. <laughs> from all of these people. Um, this recent letter from Grover and this just awful response from Bernice and letters from Theo and it's just... Oh dear. Well, we've gotten ourselves in quite the situation. Mr. Shelton it seems, may have misread the friendship I showed him a bit. Mother always said you were too friendly. Very sweet, very eccentric. I must discover if he has interest in anyone else. That is something I can facilitate. <sighs> Venice. I do wonder if she doesn't like citrus or if she happens to be allergic to it. I imagine if I just 
kept having the staff make lemon cakes. Eventually she'd stop coming. Hasn't worked yet. Maybe something else. Maybe oranges. Grapefruit. Grapefruit would be good. And Theo. Oh. Theo. It is hard for me to even look upon you when we are in the same room. We have loved you since we were children, and yet, when we are together, even when I am sure that no one can see us, I cannot look at you for too long for fear someone will notice. There has to be something I can do to fix this. I wonder the true nature of your relationship with Raleigh. If I could convince Mr. Addison to love his cousin again. Hmm. Then his cousin could love me. This will be a party. gonna make such a good party okay so now that everyone has monologued a refresh so everyone has a, a monologue set it back to no and everyone has a monologue token back again you may use that token literally at any time uh to see the uh, inner thoughts of a particular character that could be for connections as well by the way if someone is playing their connection at the time and you want a monologue for a connection go for it um let's do the more boring stuff first so everyone go ahead and take one resolve token get those back and i'll go up back up to three you have four. Yes. Hey, if you are willing to play that game, then you get as many as you'd like. Perfect. And... Now for the fun stuff. So, the... Uh, every time we go through upkeep, again, we do go ahead and review our collaboration. Um, I feel like so far we're pretty good. We're still feeling romantic comedy, yes. Overall, everyone good with yeah. that? Yeah. Excellent. Um, again, historical accuracy is somewhat important. Uh, keeping gender power balance off, for sure. Um... No hidden information, no additions to our lines here. And again, if at any time, is there anything that we want to see in the game that we haven't yet seen? We can that we can add it to the collaboration in upkeep. That's part of that process. So anything we aren't seeing enough of yet or anything we want to make sure that we get in there? Well, we've seen literally all of Raleigh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see any more there. <laughs> I feel good about where we're at. Where we're at? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. I mean, I want to speak for everybody, but... Feel pretty good? And again, yeah, mm -hmm. we, we can jump on in. That it's the beauty of the game. We periodically review that every time, so that is... Not enough tentacles, though. Yeah, no. I mean, we could Yet. add that, that we'd like to make sure we, <laughs> we have tentacles eventually eventual tentacles i can write that that's that's not eventual a tentacles eventual <laughs> tentacles eventuals eventuals <laughs> done eventual tentacles <laughs> hey you said to add it i added it i did so. I'm sorry, I... I would i would like to point out that um that might be coercion <laughs> no no they're consenticles they are consenticles <laughs> Alex wins. <laughs> Consent. Consent. Tickles. Oh, I love all of you. Oh okay. Uh, 
since this is our first upkeep, uh, we will also go ahead and create our inner conflicts for our major characters. Uh, the inner conflicts, um, I guess it's the closest thing to like a playbook in uh, like like Power by the Apocalypse. Uh, you're sort of uh, aiming for uh, lining up either one or the other of those conflicts. Um, uh, particular points sort of give you more resolve token and, and potentially some fun extended backstory actions uh, that you can play in later in the game. Um, but does anyone, I, we can go down the list. Uh, if anyone's still still pondering, or if anyone has an idea of what they would like, yeah, Savvy, go for it. Yeah, well, when we were talking about it, um, you had given the the example of like duty versus love for mm -hmm. inner conflict, um, and I'm that <laughs> <laughs> perfect. <laughs> um, I was trying to think of like if there were. Like if I could narrow down the phrasing a little bit, but I think that that works for sort of where I'm at. So if I can just take that. Yeah, go for it. Okay. So yeah, go ahead and just plug that into your verses there. That's pretty much exactly what's going on with her right now. <laughs> That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Um, and so once we get through to that second upkeep, again, like you took an action in pursuit of one of these, sacrificed something important for one of these, and you can check those uh, boxes as we go. All right. Well, then, yeah, let's just go down the way. Uh, Sean. I am struggling with what the other one would be for Ronnie. Okay. Because cause I, I know one of them's got to be something like desire or, mm -hmm. I mean, desire seems to be like the best word. Um, I don't know what the other side of that would be because I don't want to do if I do like duty versus desire, he's always going to choose desire, and I don't think that's like the conflict. Um, Could you do like status or like station or something? Yeah, because I think the biggest conflict we're setting up is that like wanting to have fun mm -hmm. versus uh, versus his major to, like, desire at the moment is that he wants to the make sure money. that. Yeah, that Theo doesn't yeah. come back for his inheritance. Yeah, I don't know how to succinctly put that, though. Yeah, station or or wealth, even. Yeah, desire versus wealth. What about, like, instead of duty, like, obligation? Yeah. That could sum up, even with wealth, like, you're sort of obliged to do certain things in order to snag that inheritance. Okay, I'll go with desire versus obligation. Cool. I like it. All right, RJ? The only thing I can think of right now is desire versus duty. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I think that's like the big factor for Theo. I think that's fair. for Mr. Shelton. I'm thinking something like art versus convention because I kind of alluded to it in the the monologue of obviously he's got these feelings about the old money and what they think of themselves and if he took like artistic liberties and you know, drew like there's probably going to be a secret painting that he's working on at some point of like Raleigh as a glutton and just in the, the most uh despicable light but if that ever you know is was Shelton shown the first like caricature <laughs> maybe <laughs> painter is that what this is going into but yeah. like if he if he if he put his true feelings into his art which he wants to do it would you know potentially lose him his patronage hmm. would you even expand that like career versus or hmm. so his desire to do like the fullest extent of the art so like even the potentially catastrophic versions of his art mm -hmm. versus 
uh, the need for convention. Yeah. Um, hmm. <laughs> I mean, you could even go like passion versus versus convention. Sure. And that could bring up some interesting things if Miss Keating uh, infects hey. his passion with hers. I like it. All right. So we feel pretty comfortable with those. Seem to make sense. Um, and let's also go ahead and review your desires. I think at this point they still make sense. They haven't become moot for anyone quite yet or anything like that. Um, and then in upkeep as well, if it just makes sense to change your desire or if you want to and you can make it make sense narratively, uh, we can change those out as well during upkeep. So just to keep that in mind too. Uh, all right. I think we are all set. Everyone feels comfy with those. It was party time! Yay! Um, I guess content warning? We're gonna probably fade to black for some things, but some stuff might happen? Some stuff might happen. Yeah, stuff might happen. There might be... There's gonna be at least one hand flex. Yes, there just may be. All the hand flex. <laughs> Everyone's hands are just cramped just by the end of flexing. this. Flexing. <laughs> Uh, ready. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for serious, uh, okay, we'll, we'll fade to black, y'all, but there may be more innuendo of things and other drugs and other things. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, so just be prepared. Um, all right, so uh, it is uh, later in the week, and uh, we are making our way everyone actually in the parties are making uh their way over to uh baton Moor. uh what 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 time would these festivities uh start mr addison i think the invitations would be after sunset it literally just says after sunset after sunset <laughs> epic um Perfect. So the rest of uh, our our characters can interpret that as they will. Um, how and I would say when do our uh, our characters arrive at uh, the Battenmore Estate? I think Grover might actually try and get there early so he can get set up because I don't think he knows enough to know quite what to expect but he knows you know he was told to come and paint people in an interesting setting he's like okay i need to be there figure out where things are what the setup is going to be um and, you know start trying to plan ahead and he's going to be in for a surprise but it's like okay i need to come and figure out what my subjects are and what the, the setting is how early is early? As the invitation did state after sunset, are we talking before sunset? Uh, right at sunset? Probably right at sunset. Like, as soon as the bottom tip of the sun meets the horizon, he's probably in a carriage on the way over. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I, I, unless someone planned to be earlier than that, uh, I, we can safely say that uh, Mr. Shelton is the, the first of the group to arrive. Okay. Does uh, Raleigh let him in <laughs> since <laughs> the sun's probably still above the horizon? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think what would even be going on at this point. Yeah, because Raleigh is not answering the door. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's probably like <laughs> the, the small, like, uh, like orchestral group the like this I, th I think there's like a small group of musicians like with string instruments like in the uh just eyes the... wide shut and they're all blindfolded <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, really <laughs> yeah well everyone is going to be wearing uh so everyone's going to be given a mask at the door if they don't bring one um uh, but i yeah i think uh raleigh does come like hearing that the first guest has arrived and like comes around the corner and is uh, not currently wearing his uh, tailcoat, but has is uh, wearing a uh, what is the what would the shirt be called? Um, his shirt is like a, like a crimson red, and his uh, breeches are black, uh, is like starkly contrasted. Uh, and he kind of comes around and says, 
Oh. Um. Mr. Shelton. Yes, I thought I might need to arrive early and figure out right. where to set up for the art. Right, early. Didn't even know the sun had set. Uh, sure, come on in. I'm still getting things. If you did further uh, down the hallway, I would assume, as Aurora yeah. has probably been there all day preparing. Uh, who is it, Molly? Oh, it's Mr. Shelton. It's <gasps> early. Mr. Shelton sort of makes her way down the hallway. A goblet of wine already in hand. I would assume <laughs> probably just red, like the tightest reddest dress possible with sort of a filigreed mask some feathers uh and the masks that they're like giving out all have like a sort of like a skull motif the most of them are black uh the theme of the night is uh occultism and the strange um was the dress code specified on the invitation <laughs> it might have been like on everyone's palette. except for Theo's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do we know we're supposed to wear masks? Uh, I think you would know just by affiliation. Because okay. um, I think, I mean, we've, has, I would assume that Rosamond has been to one of these before. Has she? Has she? I think maybe she's made brief, mostly non-participatory appearances before. Very fair. Uh, yeah, word of mouth would let you know to you know, what the deal is. <clears throat> but yes, uh, let's see. You can get set up whatever you want. Um, hmm. Madame Dupont is going to be setting up her table in the front room here, and the band will be playing over this way, and if you want to paint people dancing, uh, that sort of thing. It seems like a lot of movement that doesn't seem very interesting. Uh, oh, I, I thought it would make rather more sense uh, for Mr. Shelton to arrange himself uh, further that way in, in the lounge. Sure, uh, of course, wherever, wherever you think you, wherever your artistic vision takes you, my dear man. Mr. Shelton, would you accompany me to the lounge? I can show you the best window to set up for light. Of course, Miss Keating. I'm trying to think if you would have been clued in even the slightest based on the attire, because I assume this is not the, you know, not the ball attire that was no. at the, the garden party. So I think, yeah, Mr. Shelton probably did not have the faintest clue. So he's, much like the garden party, is dressed nicely, but, you know, his nice. So it's still, you know, there's probably still a paint smudge that he missed because none of his clothes are entirely paint free. Did you ever go to a costume party thrown by theater kids in college, Alex? I was a theater kid in college. <laughs> then, so Yes. <laughs> Think, Is think this going to be anything but clothes party? <laughs> Potentially. Uh, and Raleigh would hand him, if you're planning on participating in the evening, you may wish to hold on to this and hand him a mask too. Oh, yes. Uh, I shall, though, uh, given how much my reputation seems to be preceding me in this town, if they see anyone, you know, doing art, I fear, mm. you know, my identity will be a bust. Well, I'm sure there are ways we can work around that. Uh, Aurora, I'm sure she would give you suggestions. Oh, uh, absolutely. If you don't mind me, I need to make sure we're set up for the seance and uh, make sure everything in the uh, garden is uh, also going to plan. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Miss so, Shelton, sort of yes. wait for you to walk Will with her. offer his arm. Oh, quite the gentleman. I try. Pull it in inappropriately close as she walks down the hallway with you. 
will say this is my uh, first attendance to one of these parties. I understand they are at least a semi-regular occurrence. Oh yes, quite. Uh, Mr. Addison really can't wait to uh, get the next round of them going after one is so sadly over. But we do always remember our first. Could I be concerned? Of what? Oh, the... Well, as you know, the, the seance is rather much more for show. Uh, Madame Dupont, uh, well, is it studied in, in, in London and was a bit of a dancer in her time, from what I hear, but now she, you know, does parlor parties. Well, uh, I, I must admit I wasn't even really aware this was going to be a masquerade, uh, but uh, as I mentioned before, you know, when I came to paint you and Mr. Addison, oh, I do have yes, a bit of a remember. knack. It's a bit of a knack for uh, capturing images in my mind. So, if I am to fully capture the the essence of this gathering, it may be best if I actually leave my supplies sequestered away and take the take the images in my mind and paint them at a later time. Perhaps I can even show you when we have our session later. Of course. Tell me, um, that image in your mind, uh, when do you uh, bring those out? Whenever I, I have time, really, uh, at this point, you know, there have been so many requests for my services that, uh, I find most of my free time when I'm not at social gatherings devoted to putting those images onto the canvas. Hmm. Would you need uh, a refresher of any kind? Certainly helps. Hmm. Sort of guiding you slowly into the salon area where there are several, uh, I would assume, like pillows and cushions and things and uh, probably another chaise lounge and well as there is time sort of lay out in the same pose as from the picture take all the time you need so Mr. Shelton will take some time you know, starting back from about where he was before but then slowly drawing closer and you know circling around on the chaise and probably eventually getting too close, like certainly far closer than would be uh, acceptable for the, the typical stuff of this time period, but if it's just them two still, and probably a bit to Aurora's disappointment, there's clearly a like detached, like almost like Aurora's a specimen at this point, and just like trying to figure out, okay, this is what I need to get for, for the art, but also, at the same time, is still like probably winds up almost nose to nose with her without even re <laughs> realizing it. You do seem to take very detailed mental notes. Yes, uh, it is. Realizes how close he is and steps back just a little bit. Uh, it does help with the the art. I must admit, it is. A bit shameful that I do not yet have a completed piece since the Honorable Countess has taken me into her patronage, but uh, once they are out, even though it will not be the magnum opus everyone seems to be talking about, it will still be quite the, quite the wonder. Well, again, if you need any more inspiration, do let me know. Oh, certainly, and I do look forward to our session together. Of course. And I think once he's done doing the art, it's just like, wait, okay, what do I do now? Because it's still just the two of us. I think at that point we'll be like, is there, is there wine ready, or should we wait for, for the others? It can be called for. Yes, uh, I do think some wine would be good. Of course. She'll sort of just lean, lean over the table. There's just like a little silver bell. 
ring for wine. Well, that gets uncomfortable. Uh, next, uh, next to arrive, uh, uh, who would arrive rather right on time? Is anyone going to be fashionably late? Fashionably late enough. in making an entrance. Fair enough. Uh, so, uh, Theo, uh, when, when do you arrive? And how do you arrive? Probably walks to the estate. He, the, what's it? They probably couldn't afford a horse to ride him over there, but uh, there's probably a crowd that he mingles with as he's walking in to try to be unassuming. And he didn't bring his own mask. He so did or did not? Did not. So he's probably going to receive one. Um, I want to spend a resolve token and give it to Riley to say that there's a special mask that he prepared for Theo. I'm debating, though, if it's either a snake mask or a mouse mask. It would... I'll take it. It's going to be a mouse mask, though. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Go ahead and swap that out. Sean, take that token. Yes. <laughs> so, upon your arrival, uh, Theo, you uh, I usually hand out the invitation, you know, to show that you were supposed to be there, and they see the name, and, oh, uh, excuse me, sir, uh, there's uh, something special for you, and uh, takes out a more elaborate uh, sort of gray felt uh, with long whiskers and the little pointed mousy nose. Just grits his teeth, takes the mask, and walks off somewhere to put it on. Excellent. Any particular mingling? Or just trying to stay out of the way? Stays out of the way. Um, someone talks to him, he, you know, gives them the usual banter, like, oh yes, lovely party, yes. I'm enthralled. I love it. Uh, how fashionably late there, Countess? Uh, not so late that she misses the beginning of any real festivities, um, but probably one of the last to arrive. Excellent. Like an hour. Like an hour or so after sunset. Feels right to me. In the first hour, is there anything particularly of note, Mr. Addison? Oh, not in the first hour. Uh, that's mostly just giving people a chance to drink and, and relax and enjoy the music and uh, mingle a bit. And she shows up hoping that that's the point when like, now the like good wine has come out. I think the good wine's usually out for the first hour that it gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. But he would save some for the Countess if she was not. Yeah, I think she makes him wait just a little bit. Uh, Raleigh probably doesn't even really make an, an appearance at the party for the first like hour of it. It's probably like, uh, I don't know what he would act, but, but like any good host, dramatically appears. Uh, about an hour in. How so? Is there a as a grand staircase? Is there an announcement? Oh yeah, I think it's an announcement and him very slowly descending the stairs, uh going. Welcome everyone to the reverie. We are most excited to have you here at Battenmore today. Uh our events or our festivities will begin here shortly do find yourselves comfortable we have some repasts being brought out some exotic foods being brought out from the mediterranean brought here very oh. specifically for this event do enjoy yourselves i won't go on any longer and he comes down he's wearing like a like a half mask uh it's also the skull motif that has a like is like red uh to sort of draw attention to himself. Excellent. I show up about five minutes later and upstage him. Hmm. <laughs> I haven't gone to my uh, one my one negative tag is proud, so <laughs> I show up. 
She does. And again, since we have yet to uh, showcase your scene uh, for your, uh, your your positive tag there, uh, <laughs> how is how does the Countess make her entrance? Uh, Tell me everything. What was she wearing? What was she doing? I think she had both a uh, an outfit and a mask just made specifically for this occasion. Um, it's all black um, with a couple of like white accents here and there, but mostly like black and just like very form fitting. Um, and uh, generally not what she would wear usually, but she has this like, cause her whole family is redheads. She has this like big mane of red hair uh, that's all like curled and kind of stands out against the black. And then she had this mask made um, that is, it is black with white accents and it is these large um, like moth wings mm. on the sides um, with kind of these like spooky, um, a little spooky uh like white um kind of bone stitched accents um and i think she uh kind of enters quietly at first um and just kind of surveys the room and then just kind of stands there framed in the doorway looking amazing and just Until waiting, someone, and just waiting for him to realize that she's here. The Countess has arrived. Oh, oh, uh, uh, your honor. Just very loudly, someone announces her presence. That person had too much wine. You're not supposed to know who everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it's the me. hair, I think 90% of the time the hair gives her away. I think she has big, it, big red hair. Well, she doesn't participate too much because everyone knows who she is no matter yeah. what. Well. What are you going to do? It's uh, her time. I would like to play a monologue token in this moment uh, for Theo watching the uh, Countess walk through that door. She looks so hot. <laughs> well, it's a very good thing that this mask is on right now or else everyone can tell I'm blushing. I feel like everywhere she goes, she's under a spotlight. Just a very long sigh. <laughs> oh. Well done. Well done. Uh, knowing that the Countess is there, Raleigh would, of course, be the first to greet her at the door uh, and just say, Welcome, my lady, to Batten Moor. If there's anything that I can uh, provide for you here, I'd be more than happy to do so. You uh, must be my gracious host. You're hidden under half of that mask. Oh, it's hard to hide anything under here. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, would you like something to drink? I would love uh, to try some of your wine, Mr. Addison. Of course. I've set some aside specifically for you. After me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and, As uh, Mr. Addison does lead you in, uh, mm -hmm. this would be the time of the scene where literally everyone in the room uh has heads turned uh pretty intently toward the countess uh and you're y y you figure enough to realize what everyone's intention is uh basically everyone <laughs> does is in sims when like the color changes like boop, 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 boop. <laughs> uh oh wait is she hot <laughs> hold on <laughs> Oh, uh, so uh, she definitely made an entrance, and uh, as soon as she's let in by Mr. Addison, uh, several people around town begin to make their way over. So uh, as she begins to be inundated with now potential suitors, uh, Mr. Addison, 
uh, I think he breaks off a little bit and uh, uh, after getting her, her, or actually while he's getting her her drink um, and everybody else is kind of swarmed around, does notice the mouse standing in the corner uh, and uh, kind of walks over in a sort of circuitous route towards him and says, she is quite fetching, isn't she? He's a little bit into his cups. The mask suits you well. Thank you for preparing such a special honor for me, cousin. Oh, it was the least I could do for my dearest cousin. I hope that it fits. I had to make some estimates to the size of your head. Is a bit loose around the forehead, but you know, can't get it all right, right? Mm, of course, smaller than I imagined. <laughs> so, how are you finding things here? The wine is good, the company is pleasant for the most part. And the view, and he, uh, Raleigh makes a very direct look towards the uh, Countess uh, when he says that. It's lovely. He'll reply. That it is. Well, I'll let you take in everything you can here. I know that your quarters at the church must not be nearly so exciting. Enjoy yourself, cousin. Cousin, what are you planning? Hmm? You rarely invite me to any of these functions. Whatever do you mean? I'm just trying to reconnect with a cousin that I've lost touch with over the years. Hmm. I only hope, and he kind of like puts an arm behind him, says that we can spend more time together in the weeks to come. I want to know what my cousin has been up to. I don't want to bore you with my church mouse stories. I'm sure there's ex some excitement in there. He has nothing sure. more to say. It's very tongue-in-cheek, like, mm, <laughs> don't want to be here. Well, maybe you can find your courage at the bottom of that cup, then. Uh, and Raleigh goes uh, walking off to get the Countess a drink and returns it to her. And you must tell me where you had that beautiful mask designed. She's talking to Raleigh or the Countess. To the Countess, uh, please. Okay, I wasn't sure. As you arrive with the drink, I was like, "Who's she talking to?" Her? Sir, uh, please. <laughs> who you are, my dear? Thank you so much. Of course. Uh, I believe that the seance will be beginning shortly. If you're interested in watching, or I could find you a seat at the table. Oh, well, if it's not too much trouble. No trouble at all. Well, then I would love I to participate. spots reserved. It is ever so kind of you to dedicate one of them to me. I wouldn't dream of giving it to anyone else. Well, I hope it is not just my, uh, title that grants me a seat at your table, Mr. Addison. Oh, whatever do you mean? Of course I'd want your presence here. You have this way about lighting up whatever room you're in. I, I wouldn't want anyone else uh, at this. I couldn't imagine anyone else taking up that position here at this event. You flatter me. Even when you cannot well, see my whole face. Flattery has always been one of my strongest skills. So I've heard. Well, I look forward to it. Well, I should gather up the other guests. 
while that's going on, has Aurora mostly been sticking with Mr. Shelton, or...? I would like to around? assume that at this point, Aurora has, like, retrieved wine, closed mm -hmm. the salon door, and at some point changed back into that toga that you saw her in the last time you came over, and is essentially reenacting things for you. Okay. But I think... Yeah, so I think he's kind of going along with it, but is also and not has had a cup or two of wine at this point and will also be like uh so mr addison and the countess you don't find that odd or concerning whatever do you mean i mean the uh the word about town is that you and he are an item <laughs> and i mean certainly the way you comport yourself at parties you are exceedingly familiar with each other you wound me, Mr. Shelton. A wound? I hesitate to, or I, oh, I uh, would not wish such a thing. Uh, tell me, how have I wounded you and how can I uh, make amends? To suggest that there was anything untoward with the way I comport myself at parties? Have Perhaps. I ever shown you to be anything? but the most respectable of ladies? Perhaps it is simply the different circles that we find ourselves in. Before I found myself under the Honorable Countess's patronage, I uh, did not have much interaction with the uh, the old money of Tonsham upon West Fourth Pag, and so I am as you perhaps can tell, still adjusting to these new social currents. Well, you do seem to concern yourself rather strongly with Her Honor's um, affairs. Is that professional concern? I would be consigned to whichever circle of hell is reserved for, for liars if I did not say that she is quite attractive, but I also understand she is well outside of my league, and uh, well, there may be some idle fantasizations in that regards. I am cogent enough to realize that that will never come to pass. very sad indeed. I had uh, heard that uh, that had been somewhat of a conquest for you. Conquest, you say? Yes. It's a shame. It uh, rather dulls a conquest of my own, wouldn't you say? I think the wheels are turning and he's... We'll go ahead and fade to black for that one. Uh... <laughs> uh, the rest of you, what's going on? I'm debating whether Raleigh at some point is like, Aurora, it's oh, it's just like it turns. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I didn't know you could get your leg that high. <laughs> <laughs> You've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just want to know what Theo's together. doing mostly, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe at some point he's hovering around the seance area. It's one of the main events. How is that being set up, Mr. Addison? Uh, I think it's like the drawing room. Um, so like a, a smaller space um, in near the front of the estate and uh there's probably like one circular it's pretty classic i think just like one circular table crystal ball uh purple like uh, uh cloth over the table uh madame dupont is probably just like decked out and like lace and has just this crazy hairstyle um and there's probably a like four or five seats around the table and he invites uh, 
lady or uh the the honorable countess spice uh and uh well he was gonna he was gonna invite aurora and i mean the, uh, maybe that, at the time i, I, I figure out. i figure that yeah i was gonna say i figure that was going on as people arrived like they yeah. got there i think he invites all the main characters to okay. <laughs> to uh sit around of course he invites theo uh i encourage to theo to sit next to me because this is spooky. Uh, and we've already established in the fiction that she's like a performer or a, 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 a from yeah. London. I think he has like slipped her a little something uh, earlier in the night to like guy with the mouse mask, uh, like freak him out. Got it. All right, but hey, it's your party. Uh <laughs> You can cry if you want to. <laughs> uh, so, okay. So we have, to set this up, uh, Madame DuPont. Uh, I'm going to send to her and find a voice in a moment. Uh, so we have uh, the Countess, who is seated next to Mr. Wilmot. And then um, we have Mr. Addison. Are you seated next to your secret cousin? Or... Uh... No, I think I think it is Madame Dupont, then Theo, then the Countess, and then I'm next to the Countess. Okay. Then Aurora and uh, Mr. Grover. Shelton. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I like it. Uh, we'll say Aurora uh, eventually changed back into uh, her actual outfit, and uh, hey, you know what? No one has to know what happened, so it's <laughs> fine. Uh. <laughs> Because maybe it was nothing. We don't know. Raleigh just looks at you've got a uh, feather in your hair and just like pulls that out. <laughs> She'll tuck it back behind her <laughs> ear. And uh, they're, they're all seated around. I'm, I'm sure the rest of the party has sort of gathered around to to take, take note of what's going on. Uh, oh, oh, please, step back. Step back. Oh. You're interfering with the vibrations. <sighs> oh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, hello, guests, fellow mediums for the evening. Mm, is, there, um, is there anything we uh, would like to ask of the spirits on this evening? Uh, Mr. Addison, please. It's hmm. debating what he would have set up or done ahead of time for this. Uh, does, if I spend a resolve token, uh, I'm just going to be giving this back to Theo. I feel like we're just going to be throwing resolve tokens at That's okay. <laughs> for the rest of the night. Um, does he have any, like, family members or anyone like like uh, I know his mother's still alive daddy's obviously Miles I think we is said mom that... alive? no I is, thought we said I... she was not with us anymore is she like gone? Yeah. I don't know why I thought that she was still alive then I think that would be the subject that he would have uh clued the medium on ahead of time oh, man. um okay. and but for the sake of like her question there he says oh i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to impose on the 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 spirits in that way i think whatever comes to us in the moment would be uh whatever feels drawn to us we would like to communicate with of course. See what is on the other side of the veil. Oh yes, the veil is always quite near, and yet quite far. Ah <sighs> uh, yes, oh yes, it's yes, it's 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 coming. 
yes, yes. There's, there seems to be a presence. Yes, yes. I, I, I feel. Uh, you. And she'll go ahead and point to Theo. You. Yes. Oh, yes. It's a, it's a very strong presence at near, near here in particular. Ah, um, ah. Uh, Ah, oh, mm, ah, 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 a female, a female presence, yes, yes, ah, uh, older, oh, yes, rather, rather sweet, if sad, yes, ah, uh, I, uh, I have, there's a letter, there's a letter coming through, ah, uh, um, ah, uh, uh, an M, an M, yes, ah, uh, um, uh, uh, Mary, yes, a Mary, is it a Mary? Yeah. <laughs> sort of like... Go During this entire way. time, he's just drawn into this. <laughs> She'll eventually. He, I mean, you can go ahead and choose your mother's name. What was your mother's name? Mary's fine. Perfect. Yes. Got it. Mary. Yes, Mary. Mary. Yes. So, so Mary, that you, that you know, that is passed beyond the veil. Yes. Um. My mother. Oh yes, yes. I am. I, I'm. I'm feeling a more maternal presence. Yes. Yes. Oh, um. Oh no, 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 she cannot mean that. No, oh no, it must, no, it must be a mistake. No, no, spirit, no, 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 I will not pass that on. No, no, never, don't ask me. I said don't ask me. Uh, but it's, it, it must be a mistake. You, you seem like a dutiful son. What is she saying? Oh, it's best not to repeat it among mixed company. She's ashamed. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just this 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 present. She's ashamed. She's ashamed. Shame. She says shame. She'll go on with the bit a little longer. Theo will look over to Riley. Is it a poker face or? Oh yeah, one hundred percent a poker face. He looks like shocked and I like, drawn in. Like, I cannot believe it. Aurora is attempting to not burst out laughing. Like she's not. No, it's it's near hilarious and hysterical for her. I want to spend a result token. Yes. Just the slightest hint of a smile on Riley's face. Yeah, sure. Cool. Um, the chair clatters backwards, and Theo makes his way over to Riley. Dear cousin, you've broken the circle. I, I don't believe the seance was completed yet. Yes, you must sit down for, for everyone's safety. You can insult me all you want, but don't bring my mother into this. And he's going to slug him. <gasps> Take your assault token, if that's all right there. Is that all right with you, Sean? Sure. Yeah, okay. that's fine with me. Sean's trying to get punched at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Raleigh deserves it. There is a uproar among the guests. <gasps> oh, just everyone is shocked at this display. Uh, some people sort of try to rush forward to assist. I think uh, since Grover's the closest one there, goes and tries to put himself between the two of them, does he end up getting punched accidentally by someone? <laughs> Mosh pit. Oh no, Raleigh doesn't punch back. I think he kind of staggers out of the chair, probably falls over after he gets hit, uh, and like lies on the ground, stunned for for a few seconds, just enough for everyone to like cloud crowd over, uh, and then he just uh, begins to laugh uh, and just goes, <laughs> "Oh, cousin! Oh, I 
apologize. Didn't mean to take the the joke that far. Please, uh, everyone, go back to drinking. Uh, uh, Madame Dupont, that was wonderful. And he, like, stands up and sort of rubs at his jaw a bit. Uh, Wouldn't be a party if somebody didn't get punched. Uh, You say this, and there's there's slight laughter among your guests. Uh, They're they're used to things being a little little rowdy, but this this is the first time someone's been punched this early in the evening. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's probably the first time Raleigh's gotten anyone who's actually like done that to Raleigh though. I would imagine. Well at his, own party. at his own party. <laughs> well at his own party, yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> at this point Theo will tear the mask off his face and toss it into the crowd and look over to Riley. And another warning, cousin. Even church mice have claws. And he'll walk away. Where does he go? To the garden. There's a hedge man. <laughs> <laughs> and he was never seen again. No. <laughs> Theo has left the party, apparently. What are the rest of our major characters doing? Mr. Well, Allison, are you all trick. right? Oh, of course, of course. Uh, <clears throat> looked worse than it was. Well, <clears throat> quite the exciting night. Um, Indeed. If uh, you'll excuse uh, me from your uh, your show here, I think I'll um, step outside to get some air. Of course. I'm following Theo. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, just just to be clear. <laughs> I mean, I will get some more wine on the way. Of course. Just to look inconspicuous. <laughs> Probably not very well. <laughs> but I try to follow him out. Okay. Mr. Shelton. Does he usually get punched at his own parties? That was no, that wasn't his. No, that wasn't his either. No, I can honestly say this is the first time I have seen Mr. Addison um, take one, as it were, uh, at his uh, own soiree. So, yes, well, quite the first for you. Just categorically untrue. <laughs> well, is taking it? one in that sense. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I think uh, Aurora would see Mr. Shelton closing his eyes for a few seconds and then open them and say, well, uh, d- does the party just go on at this point? Uh, um, as long as we'd like. Shall I get a small wine? Yes. Perhaps I should follow after the Countess, see that she is all right? No. All right. I mean, you can do whatever you like, but you did ask that out loud and she gave you her answer. <laughs> yeah, so I think he just goes to get more, more wine for them. Excellent. Mr. Addison. Uh, I think Raleigh goes a little more hands off at this point to see how things play out. Um, probably goes to mingle with some of the other guests. I'm sure, there's someone that he's gonna start flirting with, or someone's. Uh, yeah, I think he he doesn't. Fo- I, I think he goes somewhere where he can maybe keep an eye on everything. Maybe he does head outside because uh, I think the next sort of events of the evening uh, were going to evolve the the hedge maze. Uh, so, all right. Well, I see you all trying to spy on me. <laughs> what? What? No. No. 
Um, I'll say let's uh, let's at least resolve uh, uh, Mr. Wilmont and the Countess making their way over. Uh, yeah, I think she follows him out. What's he doing? Probably pacing. Kind of stops at one point and rubs his face like, oh, I should not have done that. Uh, I think she takes off the big, because it's big, the mask. Um, takes Once she's like outside and away from right here, because she takes it off. Um, Theo. You look up. <clears throat> Your Honor, sorry for the poor display back there. Can we please put aside the formalities for one moment? Are you alright? He will shake his hand. Bastard has a harder head than I thought. He should not have done that. It was immensely unkind. Well, I'm not exactly at fault either. I should not have struck him in the way I did. Shouldn't you have? Someone should. I'm sure someone else will get the chance to. The knight is still young. You've not answered me. Are you alright? For the sake of appearances, yes. And truly? No. I've only ever heard good things about my mother from the Reverend. <laughs> and with things the way they are and things the way they're going, sometimes I wonder if she's ashamed of me. I don't know how she could be. I think I need a little bit more air if you wish to join me. Of course. He'll offer his hand to her. She'll take it. Make our way further into the hedge maze. Kind of steer her away from the hedge maze. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you away from the hedge maze. I've been warned about that. That's a no. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, but maybe, maybe, maybe we can kind of leave it there for the night and get back into the later portion of the party for next time at the start that that feels all right for everybody sounds good yeah. i should have mentioned the food that's brought out uh it, for the mediterranean there's like seafood and like clam stuff there is squid oh so we got our tentacles <laughs> hey yes Skinjili. consentacles hashtag consentacles uh, <laughs> uh, why don't we go around and we'll do uh, our stars and wishes um, anyone want to start with those I can my star is is all the drama oh I, I just 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 marry him already counts as I want it I want it just <laughs> give trying. it to me hey, hold what? on we still have to introduce the maybe hot colonel that's coming oh 
Ooh. She's coming, all right. Ooh. If you know hey. what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I have her all planned out. Uh, she's coming up after this novel chapter. Anyway, uh, suck. I, I, I have plans. Uh, <laughs> then yes, I guess I, I have plans. <laughs> I love this lovely, wholesome love story. It makes me very happy. And I, I love, I love it. And, uh, uh, wishes. Um, I, uh, I, I wish to complicate this all further with an additional suitor. All right. Who's up next? Savvy. Me? Uh... Uh, my star is Riley getting punched. <laughs> he deserved it, and it was well-placed and very dramatic, and I'm sure there will be consequences to it. And it was amazing. I'm gonna be my third negative tag. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and hey, my that third negative tag. <laughs> and my... My current wish is uh, we, so far at this point in the conversation, have uh, left off uh, Theo and the Countess, and uh, I would like to see what happens if they pursue this conversation. I think we can arrange that. All right, we'll go down the line. Uh, Sean. Oh man. Well, my star was also going to be Raleigh getting punched. Um, but I will also, uh, I'll, I'll give half a star to that. Then my other half of a star is to the, uh, how Grover dealt with the painting scene at the beginning. Uh, cause that was, that was very good. Uh, confronted with Aurora and Raleigh's bullshit. Um, and my wish, I mean, we haven't met them yet. But my wish is that I really want Raleigh to meet this, to, to get like his hands up all into this uh, love triangle that's about to happen uh, with the Colonel and trying to steer them and then maybe, you know, falling for them and screwing the whole thing up, but we'll see. <laughs> RJ. I too want that to happen because that seems really cool. Um, Star, Aurora, and Shelton. So that entire scene was really good. <laughs> we need more Fade to Blacks in this party and hopefully we <laughs> get it. We'll work on it. Well, we're still out in the garden, so. It's true. So you want to bang? <laughs> You can't just ask me that on stream. That's it's private. Hey, oh. What do you think you the hedge maze that. is for? You're the one giving up on the hedge maze. My oh, dude. <laughs> I'm just going to take that resolve token. <laughs> I love it. Um, Alex. Oh, gosh. Um... I think the wish is easier first. I want to see hedge maze shenanigans, but also with people so into their cups that maybe with the masks, people start losing track of who's who. Uh, maybe not among the major characters because that might cause too much trouble, but- uh, We haven't even gotten the opium out yet, so. The yeah. facilitator furiously takes notes. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> And then the stars, oh gosh. Uh, let me try and scroll back through my notes. I mean, it's just all been so good. I'm trying to come up with something that hasn't been said yet. Um, I mean, part of me wants to say just Aurora being straight up like, hey, do you want to paint me naked? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you can double up on stars, it's okay. I love it. Well, anything else while we uh, we finish out uh, this evening? Last minute things? All set? 
No, that was amazing. <laughs> More party next time. More party next time. We'll we'll finish up our novel chapter next time and see where y'all's reputations are at. Cause damn, bad. We'll transition bad. to to not debauchery after this. It's gonna be a hard pivot, but you know we'll manage. More <laughs> debauchery. Like more debauchery <laughs> only negative tags from here on out <laughs> fully negative tag i don't think we have enough space for all those negative tags i got all my positive ones out of the way like in the beginning so i could negate all of these ones very mm-hmm. true <laughs> well with that note <laughs> thank you for hanging out with us tonight we will again begin our uh, novel chapter uh we'll finish out our novel chapter next time uh, and yeah, I'll get started on this Wikipedia page because stuff is getting complicated. So <laughs> with that, everybody, thank you so much. We'll see you again in two weeks. So uh, thank you and good game and good night. Bye. Good night, Good night. Bye.